Good morning, guys. It's Chris once again. It's early morning. Just had my breakfast. Well, a recovery. The other one's a tow. One is a winch out service. That is, the other one is a uh, tow to a dealership. So I'm on my way and should be there in the next few minutes. Guys, we're here at the uh, property. We're gonna try to rescue. If you can see all the way in the far distance there in that snow embankment, there's a uh, forerunner right over there where my finger's pointing. And so it's ICSL going down. As you can see, it's uh, still not defrosted here in Corbett. Corbett's a different creature. Um, it's deep ice, deep uh, snow. Um, it's, uh, you know, treacherous, so inclined, we're going to make it, uh, we're going to get all the way up there and winch him out and then, uh, get to his property and pick up his vehicle that's been damaged and take that to the service shop. So for that, we need to engage four wheel drive. We're not going to chain up, but, uh, we should, uh, we should get uh, four wheel drive going. All right, so here we go. We got the Forerunner. This is, uh, what year is this thing? I, I'm guessing 23. 2023, nice Forerunner. Barely hooking up on the left driver's side tire. Still, it's titty-tottering almost to the edge. Um, it's, you know, I mean, it, it's as close as you can get to the edge. Here's the edge. Uh, the rear is all the way into the embankment. Ouch pokey stuff and uh it's a little high center on the bottom so we'll see if hopefully no tree limbs uh, hooked onto it um luckily it's holding out as the snow defrost it will loosen up and we don't want that so we want to try to get the ground stabilized and all that stuff as you can see it's not really high centered on the front the rear axle and the transfer case might be touching so I'm gonna be scraping that, but there's no damage on it. Uh, again, 23 free, or Toyota 4Runner. Uh, we got a hitch in the back here that uh, is uh, accessible. Uh, and then we're up on an incline. So it's melting, as you can see. It's really not that terrible. We're gonna try to anchor to that tree up there and uh, then come back for this with the winch. So here we go. So we got these uh, heavy one inch chains and these uh, coupling devices here we're gonna use.
So what we got is this 50 foot of chain, one inch, down to the J hooks. We're gonna anchor also with a strap just in case, so for safety in case it releases. We got it hooked up over here. We're gonna obviously tighten this guy up to get a, a proper support. The J hooks are gonna be pulling and then we'll have a strap that's gonna anchor it just in case. And then uh, uh, we'll get it up there in neutral and a little bit more work, prep work to, to be okay, done. So what we got is we got this 3,300 pound uh, double strap over here with the chain anchoring the front uh, of the truck. As you can see, it's pretty tight right now. It's just enough that will give a little bit of support to the truck, anchor to the tree. So we're gonna also lower the bed of the trailer. Everything else, I tilted the deck itself. I've anchored it onto the ground so it's actually supporting and uh, giving me a support on the bottom. Of course, the frame and the support is gonna hook into the dirt and hold me together as my anchor up at the top there. Now we're gonna spread the uh, winch cable, hook this thing up and start pulling it. You see that strap over there? That's a safety strap just in case the chain comes loose so or whatever. Got it anchored with the J hooks on both sides. It's hooked up here in the snatch. It's got uh, 50 to 100 feet of chain itself. We've got a safety strap in case it breaks away. The strap is the strap is anchored safely away from it. We're we're gonna be pulling it straight up. I'm gonna get in there and tilt the uh, wheels so that way it's actually facing this direction. And then we're gonna try to get it up there here shortly. Pull test here really quick. Get it onto the pavement here. But uh, yeah, still in it. I'm gonna pull it up forward, see if it uh, releases on its own. Yeah, a big deep, deep hole here and hooked up into the mess of things. But uh, yeah, it's out now. We'll see if we could need to winch it a little more if it ne needed to be, but we're gonna try to pull up first. is re released I, I ended up hooking the uh <laughs> or unhooking the i i didn't i didn't know where the parking brake was so i unhooked the the latch on the engine compartment it's it's open but everything oh. else looks good no damage vehicle uh maintain its composure uh, i don't think there's any alignment issues because it was just down here so barely hooked on the you know the little ruts over there the little snow embankment so yeah it's a safe vehicle to drive this is a rental yeah so you know it's good to go this there we go two service call uh first was the winching of that forerunner up ahead and now it's the towing uh service of the same customer so we're coming up to his residence here see we we got to figure out where his vehicle's at, and I believe it's this one here on the left. Yeah. 
So that is the vehicle that we need to get to. So we're gonna have to back into that spot. Right, guys, so uh, we gotta get that trailer into this tight squeeze driveway here uh, to get that Land Rover onto it. Um, and as you can see, look at the space I got to get in. Uh, and then obviously I gotta get myself situated. So that's where it looks like uh, for the entrance. It's not as bad as some tiny homes that I've hauled into tiny spaces, but right here, it looks like it's snow uh, or flat ground, but it's actually deep snow. So you put your tire in there, you're gonna get buried in, it's gonna, it's a wheel well. It's just deep, deep snow, and then the deeper you go, the further out you go, the deeper you go. So the idea is not to get in there and uh, get stuck as well. Also, you gotta, I gotta watch out for this water main. So anyway, we should be good here. So we got into the tight driveway, positioned just in front of the Land Rover. We're gonna go ahead and back up a little further and then tilt the deck. Should have your spool properly lined up and you gotta watch out for uh where it buckles up sometimes or it bends you know so anyway i got it all opened up and reset so now we're gonna strap this guy here and bring it up onto the bed and tie it down it looks like i need a little bit more in but uh i won't bother with it right now i'm gonna go get the j-hooks the j-hooks i got four or six of them but uh any anyway, these things are uh, unbelievably uh, beneficial to towing vehicles. Case, we're gonna use two hooks to hook to the actual uh, frame support we here. With J hooks here, we're gonna be pulling it up on the hill, up on the ramp, all the way to the very top, and then strap now it the down. The dilemma: the vehicle does not move in neutral. So that means we're gonna drag it up onto the deck. Um, fortunately, it's got mechanical issues. So for that, we're gonna have to drag it up there. Didn't expect that. A Little bit of a hardship on the winch, but uh, no problem. Okay, we're here using our winch to bring it onto the bed. Take another look 
to make sure we're doing all right. Always double check. Because obviously, once you get it up there, you can't get it back down uh, unless you winch it off. And there you go. That's exactly what I was talking about. You don't want to winch it to the side and then uh, have to readjust later. So we're going to have to reposition the winch cable, but we're getting there. If you haven't seen, I actually angled the bed a little bit, so that way we could uh, get more force out of it. We'll readjust. The winch itself was working real hard, but uh, we'll readjust you shortly as the rear tire gets up there. But uh, the least amount of force, the better, right? Now I could put the dollies underneath this thing and make it work, except it's slick enough that this is just fine. Sounds like the winch is working a little harder here. Hopefully we got enough juice to get it up there. Listen to that. We got it up, but barely on the edge. Obviously the winch is gonna pull it straight that direction. We're gonna continue pulling it up. As you can see this side is up on the bed. We're gonna tilt the bed now and get uh, less momentum to the, or less drag to the deck. This is the time where you actually want the bed a little more slick than most. Um, generally, you don't want it to be slick, but uh, this is the time that you do actually want it slick. So that way the vehicle does slip uh, slightly on, or slide on the deck. But uh, anyway, that said, it's up and it's coming up. Where it needs to be. I gotta watch that corner. Now that we got the bed all the way down, we should be able to pull this guy straight. Obviously, I don't like that tire. See what we can do with that tire, I'm not sure. Not very nice, not very nice. The tires choosing to go that direction. That's not cool we tire. Got it this far. However, look at this tire here. It wants to slide off, so now we gotta winch it that direction. So we're gonna put a snatch block and it this way but it's in the middle it's positioned perfect so what we have done here guys is because because of this issue here and i'll show you what i'm talking about uh, um do not ever step in the triangle of death this is called the triangle of death because there's a winch a, a cable here creating a triangle to the snatch block and then there but this is a Right now I'm stepping in because it's loose. It's not actually under tension. So anyway, I wanna show you a snatch block. It's got a 10,000 pound Husky strap here against the tree. I got this Badland snatch block for 20,000 pound tested supposedly. It's got this winch cable going back here to the rear axle, or I'm sorry, rear uh, hitch assembly. We're gonna be pulling the vehicle this way and I'll show you why. This is why it's sitting literally on the edge and that's not safe. So what we're gonna try to do is pull it that way and away from the curb or the edge and try to get it so that way it's leveled in the center and get it properly positioned on the bed. Here's how the snatch block works. The winch itself pulls directionally towards the tree. The tree anchored to the ax or to the rear hitch gonna tilt the vehicle just like that 
and now it's in the center that's great so now we got the vehicle positioned perfectly in the center of the of uh, the bed on both sides because because of the positioning i decided that i'm going to do the same thing with the front you're going to snatch lock it and pull the uh axle this way So that was in the center. Everything is lined up now. You guys probably wonder why am I still here? Well, it took quite a bit of time to winch this guy up and get it lined up properly and position on the bed itself. Clean the bed a little bit because a lot of these trees are falling down and made it clear to, so it doesn't fly off. Anyway, strapped because uh, Corbett is hilly. So I want to make sure since I don't have control over the transfer case it's locked the wheels are locked obviously it's it's on the bed but it's slick the bed is slick so there's not much i can do about positioning it any further than it is we're gonna have a fun time winching it off but anyway a uh, number of straps we've got straps in the front i've got the axle uh, i've got the wheels strapped down here we go we got the front straps we got two straps on the front around the wheel well crisscross we got a four-way strap here believe it or not this is looks complicated but it's not it's in between the wheel uh support and strap together so it anchors it that way that way forward and back so this is actually a four-way st strap uh setup we've got two j hooks on the rear hitch itself uh anchored with you know a ratchet uh, bar here ratchet strap itself we got two j hooks back and forth holding it from going that way that way we got four straps here again this is all a complicated mess but uh, believe it or not it's securing that way this way that way and that way so non no movements is allowed or permitted for the wheel to go in any direction for the rear axles and of course we got the front axle as well front axle is secured just simply by one and rear uh in the front so we got the uh that wheel wrapped around essentially the uh all the way to the back and so everything is secured the vehicle is ready to go we're gonna get going here so we can make this delivery four high is the way to go for we'll drive in this area pulling this trailer with this Land Rover but because it's slick here and it's wet so making it over these slick inclines and downgrades is important so you don't get stuck um, you now it's foggy and wet and it's slick and ice is still forming and so here we go now we're gonna go down this incline or downgrade where he got stuck the key with any slide or any hill is uh, momentum uh, you don't want to go up the hill and stop momentum you don't want to go down the hill and stop momentum you don't want to use your brakes too you got to ride the brakes but not a lot uh, and so we got a couple of slick surfaces here one more to make this is crucial here, giving it all we got. There we go. Oh, yeah, slipping and sliding. Yes, we are. There we go. We got the trailer out. We're back on the main road here. Now we can disengage our two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive back to two-wheel drive. Uh, we're on blacktop. Um, we should be okay to make it back down the hill. So with that in mind, we're on our way.
got here at Land Rover Jaguar uh, dealership in uh, in uh, Beaverton. Uh, we're gonna try to get this thing off the. the we're gonna go check in with the Jaguar people first, or the Land Rover people service shop, and then uh, depending on where they say they want us to leave it, we'll uh, we'll see if we can anchor it down and get it out of off the bed. Guys, we are gone here at uh, Land Rover. We got this Discovery parked in place. Like uh, the service guys told us, it's perfectly positioned. Uh, we winched it down, just lined up perfectly where it needs to be. Um, this bed, tilt bed, can't go wrong with it. It does miracles. It allows for low clearance and it allows for multiple vehicle support it's a nice land rover fortunately def or transfer case or transmission or something you know whatever the customer needs to be serviced this is the place to do it land rover in uh, beaverton services all these uh, vehicles um, i'm just gonna kind of document the condition of this land rover discovery you know it came down off the winch perfect perfectly you know, it uh, this probably can go, I don't know, any 
any terrain. I mean, look at those tires. Those are beefy tires. And, uh, you know, it's got nice hitch assembly support, probably 5,000 pounds back there. I mean, uh, this is a vehicle to use off-road if you need to or in snow. Anyway, it's here at uh, Land Rover. We're gonna go turn the keys in and uh, go on our next call. Oh yeah, before I forget, I'm gonna lock it. The remote, and this remote goes to uh, the, to the uh, service professionals here at Land Rover.